Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sh ooh, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, please continue to do so. Let's get into this, Gemini. Uh, thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Gemini, we're going to do one card for love. And then one card for career and finance. Also, you get two cards from love. The death card and the high um the high priest, which is the hierophant. All right. And then in career and finance. Career and finance. What do we have? Career and finance for Gemini. Career. All right. Ooh, the devil card. You got all majors. It's a lot ooh, at the bottom of the world. A lot going on. So you got the devil in the world. You've learned some lesson here. Maybe in your career, in your finances also. Uh, I heard not to trust friends. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Um, because it is three people. Maybe you're learning um, groups to be involved in, you know, choices that you've made. Because the devil energy is not running rampant through the streets and just grabbing people and riding their back no you have to choose wrongly you have to choose um extravagantly you have to choose what's not best for you and then you know the devil snowballs it and gets you all entangled and now you're you're bound you got to get out of that right so in the the devil card in the career and finance it could even be fear it could even be bound, heavy debt, lack mentality, um, maybe being too extravagant in your choices, okay? Um, doing too much. This, I heard like bad contract, bad deal. Having signed it and no, not knowing, but now having learned with the world at the bottom of the deck that um, this wasn't the best option for you. This wasn't shouldn't have been an option at all because it binds you. This can even be the music industry. OK, it could be something that is worldly that can impact the world also. Um, this could be legal matters, definitely paperwork being signed in the career and finance. All right. So uh, love and romance, death card. The high priestess, career and finance. Um, okay, they want me to go back here. You may have overspent, overindulge, indulgence, doing something knowing it was going to get you down the road of entrapment, being entangled in debt too. You could owe something or owe somebody. You got to figure out how you're going to close the gap on that while taking care of everything else in your life. This could even be a relationship, a marriage that you got into that put you in debt or indebted to. Um, you may need the money now, and that's why you have to sign something. Shit, sign that shit under duress, honey. Um, no, let me stop. Um, <clears throat> okay, so then in love and romance, you've got Scorpio and you've got Taurus coming up. So somebody could be severing ties with somebody that they used to be loyal to use there used to be loyalty here somebody is cutting the strings of loyalty with this person ending a relationship letting it transform or transcend or transition into this can even be friends or going back to being friends Somebody could even be saying, I don't want to do something anymore because it's a lot of immorality associated with it. Maybe sex and secrecy and hidden things and dark things or doing something undercover, uncover. This could even be somebody studying spirituality now or just wanting to be more traditional, wanting um, our family or tradition or something stable solid therefore they're severing ties with a connection that they were in this could even have been like friends or benefits sex only type of connection here 
um, the status quo was that we were friends with benefits and somebody wants to maintain the status quo but it could be somebody wanting to say no we don't need to do this or somebody tried to make a whole marriage relationship out of a sexual connection Let's see what your shells have to say. Let's get on up out of here. Oh, we got a lot. All right, so, and then you've got the, um, I think this is turquoise. It's also about healing. Healing properties here, okay? Self-love. Um, So I heard manipulation, but this says magic. So maybe somebody was manipulating you. Abundance here. Maybe you're gonna get a lot of something. It could be anything. Mental issues. You could be realizing that maybe someone is the cause of your mental issues. Mental issues can be temporary. Of course, they can be lifelong, born with. They also could be temporary. Maybe somebody's the cause of temporary mental issues. Could be a father or the father of your. Damn, you got hell. You feel like maybe some relationship is hell or they're putting you in hell or they're making you relive something. So hell, for some people, it is just um, reliving uh, something uh, maybe adverse, negative over and over again. So maybe this person just does something over and over again, not give enough. You got lack coming up. You just want them to stop putting you through the same situation, same issue. Okay. This could be like sex only, friends with benefits. Yes, yeah, spiritual. Maybe you're coming into a spiritual awakening with the high priest here, uh, or the hierophant here great body yeah sometimes this card comes out when somebody is it's like a sex only connection somebody was just like yo you got a nice body we do our thing this and that so we got mom so we got mom and we got a father okay and then we have ring so um we talked about maybe sitting with different groups of people maybe a different ring or click or clickish or trusting people maybe in your home or in your relationship is what i'm getting also and then we have crazy. Okay, so you could be realizing that somebody is crazy or they were saying that you were crazy, but your crazy was temporary with the mental issues coming out. Maybe it was temporary. Um, this relationship drove you crazy. Maybe they were manipulating you, putting magic on you, if you will. Um, but you come into a spiritual awakening. Um, you severed ties or maybe sex only connection. You want more. Uh, this could be you. It could be another person. Um, you got into some bad contract with someone, I don't know if it had something to do with a ring of people or a friend or friend group, um, but now it has you bound or bound to. Um, this is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Um, some of you could have bit off more than you can chew in terms of finances. You could be a father, okay? And it's hell in your home if you have children. You want something to stop. There was an abundance of coming in. Maybe you're in a place of reserves or you're going into your reserves. Yeah, you're going into a place of lack because we got abundance and then lack. They shouldn't exist in the same reading. Something is driving you crazy. It could have been that you let a relationship put you into a place of lack. Bit off more than you can chew. This could even be chew. Then this could even be travel. This could be debt heavy debt this is what i have for you if it resonates this could even be luxury items being materialistic this could be a third party interfering in career finance This is what I have for you, uh, Gemini. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do a collective reading and then answer your questions. Keep in mind that readings are 40% off. 40 off at checkout gets you 40% off your reading. Um, what else? I think that's it, Gemini. Take care. Have a really good week.